The date was July 21st. I was walking around the subway at night. I had nothing much else to do. When all of a sudden, I bumped into someone. Watch where you're going! She kind of looked at me and was taken aback, which I can understand. At the time, I was ignorant, and my ignorance took over a lot of the time back then. I began to back up, give her kind of this little death glare. She looked at me, her face was kind of red, a little pinkish, and she smiled even through her fear and said, I'm sorry, I'll watch out next time. The next time caught me off guard. Next time? What do you mean, next time? I ended up just kind of staring at her blankly, and said, Sure, whatever. I've never been great at reading facial reactions, but I could tell that this girl meant the apology. At that point, I started to loosen up all the muscles in my face that were tightened, squinted, gave a tiny smirk, and just said, Be careful who you bump into. You could bump into the wrong person. Her smile kind of faded, said, I know. Have a wonderful day, and walked away. I never thought I'd see that girl again. That was about a year ago. I haven't seen her since. I don't know what her name is, I don't know who she is. But all I know is that I'm Loki so curious to know who she is. What's her name? But of course, it wasn't like I was gonna ask that at the moment. I had asked Dice for some advice. What do you think I should do? Well, you haven't seen the girl in years. It's only been one year. Understandable, Kokichi, but you need to get over it. You don't even know the girl's name. But I'm curious. Like, who was she? Probably someone who could give less of a shit about you. Not to mention, I bet she was taller than you. Only by a couple inches. Nothing crazy. Yeah, okay. Short King lives on. Fuck off! Whatever, Kokichi. You have your own shit to do. Okay? You escaped hope speak. You did what you needed to do. Let's not worry about some stupid girl at a subway station who could give less of a fuck about anything about you. Hmm. Huh. I guess. Why were you even riding the subway? I had came home from the bar that night. The bar? Illegal drinking. It's a thing. How'd they let you in? I don't even know. Hmm. Well, that can bring up another question for you to think about. Oh, God, what? Why was she at the subway that day? Probably just getting home from work. She was holding a briefcase. A briefcase? Yep, I still remember. Sure, my memory isn't the greatest, but I can remember a pretty face when I see one. And all their accessories. Yeah. A briefcase. What color is it? Black. Have you ever seen a colored briefcase? N no, never. But, you know, it was a valid question. No, it was not. Uh, okay, fine, whatever. <laughs> I am just a bit curious of where she is, though. You're never going to find her. What if I do? What do you mean, Kukiji? I am the ultimate supreme leader. I can find anyone. Miles and miles from here. Seriously, it wouldn't be that hard. I mean, it'd be a bit difficult. This is some random girl you found on the subway. What did she even look like? Does facial and... Presenting qualities really matter? Doesn't matter to you? Not much, but if they have it, it's a plus. Yeah, same with me. I don't know, Cookie G. I don't think this person is still thinking about you. But maybe they are. Why would they be thinking about some stubby dude with purple hair? Who knows? Maybe it was the purple hair. Maybe it stood out. Kokichi, the purple hair will always stand out. Not many people here in Japan have purple hair, unless they're J-pop idol, or the occasional K-pop member comes in to Japan, which has mm, happened only like once in the last 50,000 centuries. Okay, you're being a bit dramatic. I thought there was one like last week. There's no way I would have heard about it. I love K-pop. I'm never gone. I just, I don't know, it's weird. I've never thought about someone like this that much. Understandable, Kokichi. You need to get over it, though. You're never going to find this girl, and she's never going to find you. We have shit to do. We have missions to take care of. And you have a gang to work on here. You have so many other things to worry about. And you're over here worrying about some random girl on a subway. And by subway, I mean subway station with like the 
the, the trains and shit, not like Subway, like the foot long sandwich place. I know what I know what you're talking about. I experienced it. Okay, well, I don't know. You're, you can be a bit slow. Hey, I'm your boss. Don't shit talk me. Whatever. Just get over it. Take a deep breath. You'll find some pussy another time. It's not about that. Well, I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. Um, I'm going to go work. I have some coding shit to do, and you know it. Talk to Sandy or one of the girls. Maybe they'll be more empathetic. For me, I could care less. And so does the girl. Yeah, okay, whatever. I'm going to go, okay? Fine, leave. I'm deducting your pay by how much? $15. You only pay me like 20 That's basically nothing. Fine, whatever. Okay. Hey, Kokichi. Oh, Sandy, speak of the devil. What's going on? You seem upset. Just a little confused. Confused about what? You remember that one story that I always tell you guys about how I saw that girl on the subway? God, you still thinking about her? Kokichi, get over it. You're not even going to be empathetic? You're a girl. I thought you would understand. Uh, I guess. There was this one guy in a Safeway home talk this one time that I thought was really, really cute. And sometimes I still do think about him. But not this much. Get over it. She probably doesn't remember you. When was that? A year ago? Yeah. Well, then get over it. Move on. Got other shit to do. Also, what do you mean, speak of the devil? What did I do? Not speak of the devil as in like, Ah, she's bad. Speak of the devil as... Clang was just talking about you. Clang is a bitch. Anyways. I would like to be alone. Suit yourself, master. If you need anything, come get me. Yeah, I got it. Bye. <laughs> Bye. After those interactions with Chan and Sandy, I started to forget about her. Like, legitimately. I started to focus more on dice and my work. But you know, a workaholic gets tired after a while. At this point, I had been out of Hope's Peak for a couple years. So, at this point, I had already turned 20. It's crazy. How fast time goes? <laughs> at some point, I went back to the subway. Doing some more drinking. They let me in because they know about dice now. They think I'm cool. As I was walking, I felt a brisk, cold breeze that made my hair move. After bumping into that one girl, I've kind of taken accountability for more things. Weird how one thing can change a person. Or am I lying? Yeah, I'll just ride in the subway. I need to get back home. And you're just walking around? Why would a girl like you be walking around the subway just randomly? <sighs> and all of a sudden it hit me. This girl looked so familiar. There's no way it's her. There's no, 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 no way. Have we met before? Kokichi Oma, that is a dumb fucking question! Just curious. You look really familiar. No? Well, that's crazy. <laughs> I really was convinced we had. You don't need to look down at me like that. I'm not that short. There is no way that I am that short. What's your name, by the way? Oh, nice. Um, My name's Kokichioma. Yeah, pleasure to meet you. I look familiar now. Oh, do I? Maybe she does remember me. Hope Speak Academy. Yes, yes. I did, in fact, go to Hope Speak Academy, not to brag, but, uh, I'm your ultimate supreme leader. Maybe she'll think that's hot. What do you mean I look like I'm pondering up a question? Weirdo, I'm not pondering up anything. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. Yes, supreme leader. At your service. Or you can, you know, be a part of my service. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. I am not joking. So, what do you do for a living? Shoe store. 
You don't look like a shoe store kind of girl. You're not? Then why do you work at a shoe store? 50% off? Yeah, sounds about right. Oh, what do we do with my business? You know, just, uh... Anything that we kind of want to. Nothing too crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's just a normal warehouse business. You know, after high school, being a supreme leader stops being a little fun. And it's been kind of hard to find some distractions. I'm sorry. Can I ask a question? About a year ago, did you bump into someone who looked a little bit like me on the subway? Yes. Well, was it January? Not to get specific, yes. Well, that was me. I've actually been wondering how you've been. I don't know. I got curious after you bumped into me. You got curious, too? No, I'm not that short. I'm really not. I can prom I'm 5'1". It's in the fives. At least I'm not 4'11", like some people. I'm 5'1". It is on the fives. And she's laughing. She still had those rosy red cheeks that I remember. <laughs> I like them. There's no need for you to laugh at me. I'm not that short. I just realized your makeup has kind of run a little bit all over your eye. Are you doing all right? Boyfriend broke up with you. Boyfriend broke up. That is such a shame. No, I didn't do anything back there. Just almost sneezed. Allergy season, am I right? It's totally allergy season. Mm-hmm. Well, oh, it's different in Japan than America, honey. How did I know you from America? You look like you're from America. Yeah. You you can tell what I am, right? Cool, nice. Moving on from that. Boyfriend, that is such a shame. How how did that how did that happen? Cheated on you. What a dick. Ugh. I'll admit, I'm not too big on relationships. And, you know, I like to be equal between men and women. Not favor one over the other, but... God, sometimes men annoy me. And then it sounds like me being a pygmy boy. Because I am a man. I'm a man. I... Um, men can be 5'1". This has nothing to do... That is very unfortunate that he cheated on you. Um, but if you were also making fun of his height, um, I'd be a little upset. You weren't? How tall was he? 6'2". Oh my god. Wow. That's a big boy. That's a big fella. Um, you know, I had a friend once who was like 6'6". Six, six. Yeah, big bro. And he was also jacked and had green hair. But, you know, he's no longer with us. Moving on. Um, God, it's crazy. What? Who did he cheat on you with? Your cousin. Oh my god. How does this keep getting worse? I don't I don't understand what's happening. Um Hold on, give me a sec. What the fuck? Anyways, I am so sorry. That is terrible. That is ab that is absolutely terrible. If I ever had a girlfriend, I had one back in high school. We lasted a month and then she broke up with me. But you know, gotta forget about that. Oh uh, yeah. Hey, don't cry. He's not worth your time at all. No, no, no. It's okay. It's fine. I know you don't know me much, but you can talk to me. Here, let me give a bit of an introduction about myself so you know a little bit more about me. <clears throat> My name is Kokichi Oma. I'm 20 years old. I own a secret organization called DICE. We're going to ignore the secret part. Please don't tell anyone. Um, I have purple hair. It is, in fact, dyed. I was born with black hair. Um, 
I'm 5'1", as we've discussed. And uh, my favorite color is teal. Yeah, you would think the purple. No, no. It just, just looks good. Fits me. All right, so now that you know a little bit about me, you can talk to me. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. I understand what it's like to not feel loved. I've been there. It's really hard, especially when you look back at old memories and with a person, and in your case, your boyfriend, and it just doesn't feel the same anymore. I understand it. I've been there. Yeah. It's really good to take your mind off of it, you know? Do things that are distracting. Or, you know, if you're the petty type, you can be petty. You're normally not petty, but you kind of want to be. Respectable. For this kind of situation, I would also like to be petty. <laughs> what do you have in mind? Revenge. What do you mean revenge? Like getting with his best friend? What do you mean this needs backstory? Okay, so what you're telling me is he was really controlling and told you that if you guys ever broke up that you would never be allowed to fuck anyone else? That's weird. Mm-hmm. And he manipulated you into believing that that's what you should do? And now you're done with the bullshit. That's, that's exactly what you should do. You should go find someone, go to the club. Japanese clubs have some hot men. You should go. Beware, a lot of them are a little, bit, a little old though. So, be prepared. It's mostly dudes just going to drink some beer after work. Nothing crazy. Am I available? What do you mean, am I available to hang out? Sure, I can... To, to what? Well, I don't know. I, I don't think it'd bother him much. He doesn't know who I am. What do you mean he'll find out who I am? I don't know if I want to get in between this. Don't look at me like that. Come on, that's not nice. Fine. I'll do it. <sighs> Just because I know how it is. And, uh... Also because, you know, my height does come with some benefits. Oh, nothing, nothing, nothing. You can just find out when it happens. I mean, look down. What's right in front of my face right now? <laughs> I'm not the perfect height, babes. God. Yeah, don't worry. I can take good care of you. And, you know, I think it'd be more of a stab in the back if you kept it from kept it a secret from him for a little bit knowing him he's gonna come back and crawl for forgiveness you should you come hang out with me i'll teach you a couple things i'll do a couple things keep it a secret don't tell him and then post me ah uh, you got instagram yeah, just post a picture of us hanging out. And they'll probably get the picture. You gotta make it last long, sweetheart. Or else it's not gonna feel as good. No, 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 no. No need to pay me. You can pay me with your body. No need for the cash. I swear. You know, you're doing me a favor, too. Am I a virgin? Hmm. I'd like to keep that a secret. Just know that I know a thing or two about human anatomy. <laughs> yeah, I got some private places. You're fine. Unless you don't like to be private, then I can arrange some things. Private? Okay. I assumed. Well, I got some places for the both of us to kick back and relax. 
snow, but uh, the walls are a bit thin in there. If you can handle that. If you can handle not being so loud. Then we can arrange some things. I promise. I'll make it worth your while. <laughs> yeah, come on. Just come back with me. I promise you're safe. I promise I won't hurt you. There's no possible way I could hurt someone this cute. <laughs> Just come back with me, you'll be good. Okay. Dice, I got someone for you all to meet. Oh, who's this? This is Listener. The woman I met at the subway a few years ago. No way! You found her? She is pretty. I know, right? Can't believe you found her. Kokichi, are you sure that's her and not someone just lying to go along because they feel bad for you? I promise. This is her. We have the same memories about everything. If you guys wouldn't mind, can you set up that private room that I installed a couple years back? Kokichi, no way you're going to use it. I'm going to use that. Okay. Yeah, we can we can set it up. We can arrange some things. Awesome. You're going to have so much fun in there, girl. I've been in there a couple times. It's No one wants to know that. <sighs> whatever. Besides that point, you go get comfortable, go wash up, do whatever you want to do. And I'll come and get you when um, we're ready. Yeah, okay. Kokichi, what is this all about? Well, <sighs> she told me that her boyfriend recently broke up with her. Really? So you're going to be the fucking rebound? No. Well, yes, but at least I get something out of it. It's not fair to you. You genuinely have been looking for this girl for years. And the time where you finally do find her... Wait, are you guys even gonna, like, you know? Yeah, we're going to. I don't know, it just doesn't seem fair. Hear me out. Go. You have 50 seconds. <clears throat> Arctis, really, you cannot time me. I'm your boss. I'm timing you for the sake of my own sanity. Yeah, okay. Met her at the subway. She told me that her boyfriend recently broke up with her because that he was cheating on her um, with her cousin, I believe, which that's unfortunate. Then, at that point, I had an idea. This girl looked sad. She needed someone to cope with. Not to mention, I needed some action. So, I came to the conclusion of asking if I can help her get revenge on this boy. Because, I mean, who doesn't like a little revenge? I understand that, Kokichi, but I don't know. She seems genuinely into me, though. She did seem a little into you. Mm-hmm, that's what I said. Okay, just don't come crying to me later if this doesn't work out. I won't, I won't. I have everything, including her, under my control. Okay. Well, the room's set up now, so you can go get her. Nice. Alright, I'll see you later. Good luck. Hey, d don't hurt yourself too much. Yeah, I won't. No, seriously, as a virgin, it kind of hurts for a second. Oh, okay. You'll be fine, though. Okay. Bye. Hey, you. You ever had... God, I already knew you were beautiful, but this is a new level. You are insanely gorgeous. You know, I've been thinking about you for years. Yeah, I have. You really caught my eye when I met you the first time. <laughs> I know that we're doing this to get revenge. But I also want to show you that you're capable of being loved properly. And if you're willing, if this is good enough for you, I'd want to take you out on a date sometime. <laughs> yeah. Okay.
<laughs> All right. You ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs>